Korokai, New South Wales. Seems to be a bit of a local flying spot for me. It's really good access for me to launch from a friend's property and fly a bit away from local Lismore air traffic. This place here seems to catch my eye all the time and I seem to be drawn to it. Every time I fly, I want to fly past here. I'm just amazed by how much humans can do in mass. This is a huge site. It's a quarry and I've done a little bit of research on it and I did speak to the uh, owners of this place and seek a little bit of permission to fly nearby and they're all wonderful, generous people. So thank you for those people down there. Uh, this is Peterson's Quarry. It's just about a kilometre and a half slightly west from Korokai. Uh, bitumen access to get out to this site and it is a quarry and I had to do a little bit of research to find out what they do here but I'm just drawn in by the beautiful greenery and the waters surrounding this place and how it's sort of dug in and hidden behind all the tree lines. Uh, it's quite a little bit bumpy to fly around this site because that sort of dark rocky area draws in a lot of heat from the sun and then it sort of bubbles up into the sky and causes me a bit of grief but it's nice grief it's all bubbly and soft and warm and it's well worth going over to have a look the company can extract up to 350,000 tons of material per annum out of this site and it has produced quite a large supply of materials for the current highway that runs all the way up the coast here so thank you so much to these people for pulling out some good local material for the use on the highways what i find good about these sort of places is they do employ locals and anyone coming from out of area to work for a short time so they look like accommodating locally in korokai which is great support for local community there just flying around at the outside here, so you'll notice how green it is. I just love the comparison between such nice dark colours and the beautiful green trees. And the grass is normally greener than this, but it's a little bit dry at the moment, and some of the little creek systems around here are a bit dry. Um, flying around here, plenty of bird life, uh, local cattle sort of grazing on the area. We've got quite a nice big cliff face there in the middle which would be really nice for abseiling so if you're a um, emergency services this might be a site for you to do some training on easy access up and down to the top and bottom plenty of good anchor sites at the top and a sheer cliff face cliff pace is probably i don't know 25 meters in height uh, a lot of machinery going around there, not the big machinery that you see in big coal mines or gold mining, uh, just smaller machines. Lots of high-vis vests floating around in there. And up the top there is two large water tanks that I picked up just on the edge of the cliff there. And I did see what looked like water being gravity fed from those tanks into a local tanker at the bottom and then that tanker just drives around um, wetting down all the road surfaces at the time of flying today there was nil wind at all it was absolutely pristine so there's no need for watering I believe at that stage because there's no dust getting about beautiful trees in the background at the top left and some sort of creek or river system flowing, flowing through there at the back Looking at the website, it looks like they operate Monday to Friday during normal hours and on Saturdays uh, morning till about lunchtime. They must have a day off on Sunday, well deserved, and they don't appear to operate on public holidays. Uh, before I flew over here today, I did contact management about um, any issues with me flying over here today and they were very welcoming, uh, appeared nothing to hide and fully supported telling the locals about what they're doing out here so hats off to you people uh, sometimes people get a bit angry with us uh, flying around but these guys had no issues at all 
Just having a bit of a guess about the size of the cutout here, I would think it would be about 200 meters wide and three or 400 meters long. Depth, I'm guessing 30 meters below. The height of the quarry is quite higher than the surrounding uh, area and you'd have a wonder what sort of impacts it would have in the local environment but flying around all the waterways are clean bird life's thriving uh, animals are feeding well all the uh, vegetation around the sides of it is um, just growing absolutely gangbusters uh, so whatever they're doing it appears they're doing well Bit of a zoom in there, a lot of machinery, I don't know what they do, but they must dig it out, crush it, sort it, and uh, ship it out. If anyone watching this has a bit of an understanding of what the quarry is uh, supplying, what it's called, what materials, where it goes, what it looks like, um, just put a comment in the uh, comments below. It uh, fascinates me about what it does. So uh, help me out, uh, provide the footage, you guys can provide the comments. Yeah, the little aircraft you can see in the shadow just down there is my aircraft, it's a paramotor. So it is a paraglider with a um, backpack fan basically. The fan pushes me forward and that creates the lift over the wing. I can fly from anywhere between 0 knots, nil wind, probably up to 10, 12 knots. And generally early mornings or late afternoons probably best for me because the, uh, the earth surface starts to heat up through the day and creates thermals. Thermals are just rising hot air and that'll create, cause a bit of turbulence for me. So this is coming out of the riverbed up over the quarry so see how it's hidden um, if you're down on ground level you wouldn't see inside it um, I thought that's quite cool as well where they've built this uh, so foot launched uh, you can sort of better see a distant shadow there and that little trailing um, shadow behind it is what's called a chase cam so the footage I'm shooting for this shot here is using a insta 360 camera and it's on a telescopic uh, pole that's mounted to my frame that I can push out and control uh, how far it goes out and when I come back to the computer to edit it allows me to change the different angles because it's recording a full 360 degree area uh, pretty cool for paragliding uh, this is just coming in from a local farmers property uh, taking off uh, from down low over the water and shooting up over the top of the quarry in the background there. Really nice time of the morning to be flying. And another thing that impacts us while we're flying is if we do have a bit of wind about, we have what's called rotor. So rotor is uh, happens behind obstacles. So wind hits the obstacle, whether it be trees hills, building, quarries, uh, all these will create a bit of disturbance um, behind it and uh, cause me a bit of a nightmare. So when you've got nil wind, it doesn't sort of matter where you go really because there's no sort of turbulence or rotor anywhere. Uh, this is the water course just behind, it's about 150 metres behind the quarry um, and as you can see the water is just clean as, except for the mud, uh, a lot of cattle seem to be wandering through there stirring up the mud and uh, really nice pine trees at the western side of this quarry and uh, the quarry seems to have ownership of that area behind there as well looking at some survey maps really nice pine trees just there to the right and again this is some more waterways probably 300 meters to the south of the quarry. Uh, again, plenty of bird life. There's a bird there flapping around. Nice trees. And this waterway is a bit dry at the moment, not a lot of water in the area, and that's why you see a lot of the ground uh, not looking as green as it could. Uh, 
this is probably two kilometers to the south of the quarry if anyone can comment what creek system that is uh, put a name to it the company running this place uh, is KIS quarries Peterson's quarry at Korokai so a big shout out to those guys thank you for what you do thanks for fixing the roads and building the roads and and being part of the community just sit back and relax and just enjoy the final stages of the outskirts of Korokai beautiful town and beautiful people recovering well after the flood thank you so much <laughs>